What's going on guys? My name's Emmanuel and welcome to my channel. Happy new month everyone. I hope you had a profitable July and I hope you're also excited about the opportunities that are coming up in the month of August. Today as promised guys we are kickstarting the series which is called Stocks I Bought This Week and I'm excited to share with you all of my purchases that I made this week and also guys let me know in the comments section below what stocks you also purchased the previous week. Also since I did my stock analysis of Workhorse a few weeks ago there have been some interesting interesting developments with the company and I'll also be updating you on those developments. We've got a lot to get through in this video today guys so please don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps my channel grow and if you're new I want to say welcome and I hope you gain a ton of value from today's content and if you do hit that subscribe button as I would love to have you on board. All right, guys, so the first company that I bought this week was Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. And I have been waiting for a significant pullback with Microsoft for the longest. I've actually got an analysis video on Microsoft that I did, I think, about a month ago. So I have been waiting for over a month. I knew this week was their earnings. And I did say in my earnings video that I expected Microsoft to destroy their earnings. And they absolutely did. But for some reason, the price pulled back on positive earnings, which I'll show you later. But here we go, guys. I picked up eight shares of Microsoft. My cost price per share was $199.52, which gives me a yield on cost of just over 1%. And in terms of my dividends portfolio, because Microsoft do pay a dividend, that's increased my annual dividends by $16. And funny enough, the, the position is actually up now. It's up um, just over 2.8%. So here we are, guys. So Microsoft reported their earnings on July 22nd. And they were expected an earnings per share of one34 They actually destroyed their estimated earnings and they reported one46 so that gave an 8% surprise um, in comparison to what analysts expected. And for some reason, despite this positive news, Microsoft actually declined. And, you know, it declined way over 6%, close to 7%. So I decided, I already said to myself, if Microsoft was to drop below $200, then I would pick up some shares. And I had about a thousand pounds set aside for Microsoft. And when it did, I just pretty much loaded up and it gave me round about eight shares a piece. OK, so like I said, guys, that's increased my annual dividends income by a factor of 16 dollars. So that's my first stock that I bought this week. All right, guys. So the second stock that I bought even more shares of this week was Virgin Galactic, ticker symbols SPCE. And on the 28th of July, they actually, for the first time, did a reveal of their design for the cabins. So this pretty much was a groundbreaking event, which was live on YouTube. It got me even the more excited about this company. I won't lie guys, at first I was initially disappointed that it wasn't the actual thing because this is a virtual uh, walkthrough. So as you can see, I'm playing the video now, some of the clips from uh, the live event. But I think it's beautiful. I really like the design. I like how there's so many windows so you can pretty much see almost like a 360 view of Earth. So you're getting your full experience. You can see there's windows at the top windows at the side every seat is a window seat i think this is massive guys but i do think because it was a virtual display it wasn't the actual thing it caused a negative impact on the share price so this is what i'm talking about guys so on the 28th of july uh, the stock price opened at 25 dollars a share and following the live cabin display uh, the price actually dropped by over 13 percent so i don't think a lot of people took it too well but for me i'm a long-term investor in this company i'm very very bullish on the company my initial average price was just over 25 dollars so i bought 30 shares more of virgin galactic at about 22 dollars 90 so that's brought my average down to just under 24 dollars a share and guys, I have to remind you guys that this company is a long-term play. You're not investing in this company to see profits now. 
You've just got to say to yourself that this is a company that I'm willing to hold on to for the next five to 10 years because they've already got their cabin design set. Now it's making the actual thing. And I think space tourism will be the next big luxury, you know, experience. Another thing that got me excited, guys, was Richard Branson has said in the past that he plans to take his first trip to space within the next six months. So I think from a CEO's point of view and also from an investor's point of view, when you have someone who's willing to try out their product, I think that will give the overall market confidence. And whenever that does eventually happen, I do not see Virgin Galactic trading at $22 a share where it currently is at. I think it will go up astronomically. But that's just my thoughts, guys. All right. So be prepared to hold Virgin Galactic for the long run. All right, guys. So that leads me into my third company that I bought shares in this week, and that's Workhorse. Now, I have previously bought Workhorse. But it did go up quite significantly. I ended up selling, um, which I shouldn't really do. You know, I was just so crazy, guys. Sometimes when the stock goes up quite a bit, I don't know, it's really weird, this psychology thing of investing. And I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But anyways, I sold um, and I was kicking myself for selling. Um, but it went down recently. And as a result of it going down, I did more research into the company uh, on top of what I did previously, and I have done a workhorse analysis, which I will link in the description. Um, but there have been some more exciting developments with workhorse. Okay, so I'm going to go through that with you now. So the first development that happened this week was a company C series delivery trucks received an executive order A4450003 from the California Air which pretty much means that this certifies the C-Series vehicles as zero emission vehicles in the Golden State of California. So, so just a quick reminder, if you haven't seen my workhorse analysis video, I'm going to show you what the C-Series consists of. So here we are guys, we're on workhorse.com. They have two vehicles under the C-Series and it's the C650 and it's also the C1000. So, they are both electric vehicles and now they have received the certification to say that they are indeed zero emission vehicles, which is huge. And also guys, if you watch my workhorse analysis video, you would know they were one of the contenders for the USPS contract. So now further development has showed that they're now only one of four remaining contenders for that $6 billion federal contract. And pretty much that contract is to upgrade the US Postal Service's aging fleet of long life vehicles. So some of the LLVs that are on the road today are well over 20 years old, okay guys? So that's crazy. And of the four contenders, our stock workhorse is the only electric vehicle option. And this is huge, guys, because there is a massive global push to reduce emissions. And the fact that the C-Series trucks are now certified zero emission vehicles, I think that makes it a strong, strong contender to win the contract, okay? I don't even see it as any competition. But again, look, this is me speculating. All right, guys, you have to make that clear. That is me speculating. I do really think that the odds are in workhorse's favor to win this federal contract. And I am not the only one that thinks so because Kathy Woods, the leader of the best performing ETF at the moment, ARK Invest, they have actually significantly increased its stake in workhorse by 219,000. So I'm going to take you to my previous analysis video of workhorse. All right, guys, so this is my workhorse stock analysis video that I posted on July 14th, uh, 2020. And as you can see here, guys, this is ARK Invest's holding for this ETF. And as you can see here, guys, workhorse group at that time to July 14th, they had 186,651 shares. OK, now, according to their most recent holdings, their shares in workhorse group is now sitting at 405,651 shares. So Kathy Woods, I think, judging from her actions, 
believe that Workhorse are also going to win this contract. They are the only zero emissions contender in line to win that USPS contract. And with ARK Invest increasing their holdings by that much, for me as a small time retail investor, that gives me even all the more confidence. So, so that's the reason why I decided to buy Workhorse again and even buy a lot more shares. So I have just over 55 shares of Workhorse Group. Another catalyst, guys, is that Workhorse's second quarter earnings is in August. And you know, this is what, the 2nd of August. And the last time they reported their earnings, they actually beat their first quarter earnings which had a significant impact on the price of shares. So as you can see, guys, on the 6th of May, um, the earnings per share estimates was to lose money, was to lose 0 0.13, but they actually reported a profit of 0 0.06. That gave an overall percentage surprise of 146.15, okay? Now, let's take a look at how this impacted the share price. So as you can see here, guys, on the 6th of May, they reported the earnings, which they beat. <laughs> and look at what the price did. It rose by over 728%. So if you bought Workhorse just immediately after they had reported a profit in their earnings, you would have bought Workhorse for what? two dollars and 77 cents and it's now currently trading at 15 dollars a share which is mental 700 percent guys so look i'm not saying that we're going to see another 700 percent move especially if they do beat their earnings and when is the earnings the earnings the next earnings on the uh, 10th of august okay and as you can see here guys they're actually expected to lose money again which I don't know why, but the analysts are expecting that Workhorse will lose money. So I think if Workhorse actually does produce another profit, are we going to see another 700% move? I think it's highly unlikely, but I do think it will have a positive impact on the share price and it will trade higher than $15 a share. That's my opinion. I don't know, but that's what I'm anticipating. Um, but I just need to get into my mindset that I'm holding this for the long term and it's not for the short term. It's not a short term spec play. So there are some really great catalysts and there are some great reasons why Workhorse will be able to do well in the long run. And that's another reason why I decided to rebuy into Workhorse and increase my stake. And if it does drop any lower, I do plan to increase my position to up to 100 shares. And then I think that would be my max. I'll just cap it at 100 shares. Hold on and let's just see what happens to this growth stock, okay? So those are the three companies that I bought into this week. Microsoft was a new holding for me. Virgin Galactic, I increased my stake. And Workhorse, I sold, but then I bought in again and bought even more. So that's it, guys. This week is really exciting for me as an investor in Workhorse and also an investor in Virgin Galactic. They are both reporting their second quarter earnings this week and I am looking forward to it. I think that they will both exceed analysts' expectations and that should have a positive impact on both companies. And if it doesn't and it has a negative impact on their share price, I will look to buy even more. My goal is to round them both up to at least 100 shares each. But I must stress guys, these are speculative growth stocks. A lot is riding on the success of the USPS contract for Workhorse as well as the space tourism progression with Virgin Galactic. I'm happy with my Microsoft position at the moment. I do have more capital ready to deploy into Microsoft if it drops lower than $195 a share. As always guys, make sure you do your own due diligence and your own analysis before you invest in any stock. I am not a financial advisor, I just really love talking about all things stocks. Invest in your own investing knowledge guys by purchasing One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch. Got the book right here, the link is in the description below guys, grab yourself a copy and if you do want to start investing, I would highly recommend my broker Trading212. Click the link in the description below and Trading212 will give us both a free share. With all that said guys, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more content from myself. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.